and today I'm going to make green tea macarons. The ingredients you need are matcha powder, almond meal, powdered sugar, just plain sugar, and egg whites. The first thing is to process the dry ingredients in a food processor. So that includes the almond meal, powdered sugar, and the matcha. This step is important because you want the macaron shells to be smooth, and to achieve that, you need a fine, dry mixture. After you're done grinding, sift the mixture back and forth two times. So the first time is over a bowl with a sieve, and the second time is with the same sieve except over parchment paper. the egg whites in a bowl until foamy. And then add the sugar and continue beating until stiff peaks form. This actually takes quite a while on the mixer because you want stiff peaks and not soft peaks. Now is the most crucial step in my opinion. It is the macronage where you pour in the dry ingredients into the beaten egg whites. At first, you just want to fold with a spatula. And as the dry ingredients get incorporated, you get into a motion where you smear the mixture and also fold. Also, watch it carefully because the finished mixture should fall in ribbons. This is way too thick. And that is also not the correct texture. But this is the right texture because it falls continually and in ribbons. Okay, now fill a piping bag with half of the batter. And yes, I did use a Ziploc bag because I don't know where my piping bag went. That is fast motion, by the way. Now we can pipe the batter onto a lined baking tray. I used three trays, but the third tray is quite small. And a tip when lining the trays with parchment paper is to butter the edges so that when you put the parchment paper on the tray, it sticks. Yep, I had to do the reverse effect. Bang the tray on the counter so that the macarons release air bubbles and so that they become flatter. Then let them dry for about an hour until when you feel the macarons, they are very dull and tacky. Finally, bake the shells for 13 minutes at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. And meanwhile, we can make the frosting. So for the frosting, first you need to make the matcha paste in which you just stir together the matcha powder and milk with a chopstick. For the frosting, you need room temperature butter, powdered sugar, and the paste we just made. The first step is to cream the butter with a hand mixer until it is softly creamy. And then add the powdered sugar along with the green tea paste. And then just continue beating on high speed until a fluffy frosting forms. Actually, this frosting I used for my green tea cupcakes, also known as my first official video. But there I just like lost the video files and couldn't really show how to make it. Anyway, the macarons turned out great with feet. So now just pipe this frosting onto the macaron shells. Now sandwich the macaron cookies. And then place six macarons on a plate all at once. This is optional, but you can also dust the tops of the shells with green tea powder. 
though I did overdo it a bit. And enjoy.